this better work or I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you this evening? It's almost 11 o'clock at night and this is my third time trying to upload this video. So here I am. Um, the first two times it worked but whatever reason it just wouldn't uh, render. So I think I just had too much storage. I got rid of some stuff and if you don't see this video then that means I gave up. So <laughs> Hi, how are we doing? I'm doing great. Really, I am. <laughs> Um, I have a different video for you today. I actually have a lush haul, really small haul, um, and I wanted to have a conversation about the products that are being discontinued um, by the end of 2020, and the reason why is because there's a lot, and there's a long list, and there's some products that I'm actually really surprised that are going away, so I really wanted to talk about that because holidays around the corner, the Halloween and holiday floor sets and all retail really is around the corner if not have already started. So even though this news is not the newest news, I think they announced this like in late July. This was my first time back in Lush since February. So I'm sure there's many of you that had just started going back to Lush. So I wanted to kind of um, reiterate this information because this is going to happen really soon at this point. So, um, first I'll start with the haul that I did at Lush. Like I said, this is my first time back since beginning of the year. My Lush has been open for quite some time now. Um, they opened like late June, early July, I believe. But when they first opened, they were only doing buy online, you pick up in store. So you couldn't actually shop in the store, you had to do it online, but you could pick it up for free at your local store within a couple hours. Um, Lush is one of those stores for me where I really have to be there. <laughs> I need to see it, I need to smell it, and most importantly, I need the opinion and the advice from the Lush um, employees. They have, a, the ones at my store anyway, have always been really helpful and guided me to get what I really want for products, and without that, I feel so lost when I shop online, so I waited until they finally like opened their store back up for people to come in, and that was like last week, so I was really happy to go. Um, they had really good procedures for everything going on, I was really safe and comfortable shopping there. Um, my store only allowed two people in. It's a small Lush, but it's not the smallest Lush in the world, but yeah, two people at a time in. Um, when you walked in, you had to wash your hands. I thought that was a really great procedure, considering a lot of stores aren't doing that. Even like Bath and Body Works, they're not requiring you to wash your hands. They had a little table um, with little soap sandal sandals, samples, and you just grab one, you wash your hands in the sink. After washing your hands, um, the employee will tell you that you're allowed to touch naked products, so products without any packaging you pick up and smell. Um, but to not open any bottles, any containers, or anything that's new and untouched, they don't want you touching that, they will provide samples for you. So I thought that was fair, I mean I usually don't do that anyway. Um, I did feel a little rushed with the two person limit. There weren't anyone waiting out, out in the store, like waiting to come in, but I didn't want anyone to like wait so I did feel a little rushed sh shopping there so I only grabbed what I needed and just a um, one or two things that I've been meaning to try that I saw on the website but nothing that was completely like hmm I'll try this this seems new um, no Halloween it just seemed like it was stuff that they've been having for a while but since I haven't shopped in February I did miss like all of the new spring and summer stuff but I didn't really get to experiment with anything new so overall, I think I was there for about five minutes at most. Um, but the employee did tell me if anything that I bought today was being discontinued that they would let me know. And there is one thing that I bought that is being discontinued and I'm still really bummed about it. So that was kind of like the reason why I wanted to post this video so that you guys would be in the know. So I'll get started with what I purchased. I got a new shower cream. I have none left. I have so many Bath and Body Works ones, so I wanted to get one. Um, I don't collect the shower gels from Lush. One, one because the expiration date's so soon, and two, it's a little out of my price point. Even though it's handmade, like natural ingredients for the most part, um, nine ninety five for a three ounce 
thing of shower gel. I can get three seven ounce Bath and Body Works shower gels for semi annual sale pricing. Three of them for the price of one Lush one. So, but um, I grabbed a new one, and this is American Cream. I've been meaning to get this one for a while now. It's cleansing strawberries and uplifting orange juice go together like Rama Lama Ding Dong. I always love their captions for things. And I initially thought this was going to be like a really fruity, sweet scent, um, but it's not. Um, let's see, there's vanilla absolute, lavender oil, sage oil, um, tonka, fresh orange juice, and strawberry juice. I do get strawberry, and I get a little bit of citrus, but that lavender um, is very potent in here. And on the skin, I did try this last night. I'm normally not a lavender fan, but I don't know what Lush does with their lavender, but I love Lush's lavender. Like Sleepy, for example, Lush, lavender and Lush is the only like lavender that I could ever enjoy. I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's a special plant, I don't know if it's special oil or what have you, but Lush lavender hits me different, <laughs> it's a different vibe. Um, it's nice though. I like the fruity herbal blend of it. I do like it. But if you think this is going to be like a really sweet fruity, it's not. It's not. It's definitely on the herbal side of things. Um, I grabbed, I had to get more of my shampoo. This is Jumping Juniper. This is my go-to shampoo bar from Lush. It's my favorite. I love it. Um, I do have kind of oily hair, but I have a very dry scalp. And this has helped me a lot. I've been using this for years now. On and off. They did discontinue this for a little bit uh, a couple years ago but I always go back to this one I love it I love the floral of it um, it makes my hair really shiny uh, makes my scalp feel better I just I love it it's my go-to if you haven't tried Lush um, shampoo bars I love them because they last forever I think mean, one usually takes me like three to four months to go through and I'm the only one that uses it Matt doesn't use this but yeah, I love it. It lasts, it, I think it's allegedly supposed to last three times longer than a bottle of shampoo. Um, and I have to agree, it does last a long time. And I love it. Goes good with a little tin. And it's just a different concept for washing your hair. I like that you have full control of lathering it onto the hair. Um, you can put more of it, you can do less of it without like putting too much on. I like the control of using the shampoo bars. Um, this is new to me. I've never tried it before. This is the pumice foot soap. I got it because it's only like five bucks. Um, earthy pumice is like an earthy volcanic rock, I believe. And this has orange and lemon in it. I love citrus. Um, I've been wanting to get something for my feet because I've been, you know, wearing like really, like, not the most comfortable shoes to work, and I've been getting. Like dry patches on my feet and blisters and stuff like that so I think I need to start taking better care of my feet so I thought why not have a little something special for that area so I'll try it see how it is it was only five bucks so I was why not right <laughs> if you've tried it let me know I haven't really heard anything about it and then every time I go to Lush I get a bar soap Lush's soap is my all-time favorite um, it's always a great lather, the scent's always strong and powerful, um, and I always get like this extra clean sensation when I get out. I don't, it doesn't dry me out like some bar soaps do. And I got Sexy Peel. I love the citrus soaps, they're my favorite. I just, citrus for whatever reason, the brightness of it, I just always feel like extra clean when I use it. And this is no exception, but unfortunately this is being discontinued and I'm so sad. Oh, this really bummed me out. This is just a beautiful blend of lemon and orange, maybe a little bit of lime, sweet but not too sweet. It's just everything that you want in a citrus flavored soap. And I'm so sad that it's going. I think there's a little bit of mint in here actually. Ugh, I'm so I don't even want to use it because it's gonna go. Um, there's actually a lot of soaps on here that I've used in the past and I'm really sad to see them go. Um, Again, this is just to make way for the holiday stuff that's coming out, and I'm sure with COVID and everything that they probably want to limit the quantities and different types of items that they want to make, um, so it's not like too much product that's going to be wasted from the warehouse and whatnot, but 
I believe there's about 150 things being discontinued this year. And that, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going away forever. Um, we don't know if these are going to be gone forever or maybe they'll come back next spring, next year in 2021 or in the future at some point. You know, there's a lot of times where they got rid of Sensen and brought them back, like Jumping Juniper, for example. So that doesn't necessarily mean it's gone for good. It's just kind of all placed in the imaginary lush vault that I have in my head. Um, if you want more information about things that are being discontinued, they have them all on the Lush website. There's a tab at the end that says leaving soon. I'll put that in the description below. Uh, but this is where all this is coming from and there's a lot of sources that have talked about this already. So I'm going to go through quickly, of course this would be like an hour long video if I talk about every single product. Um, I'll just go through and talk about the ones that really stood out to me. So I will start with the discontinued products. Um, for shower for shower gel shower oils and that's almond blossom um, naked and regular shower gel plum rain which that one really stood out to me the shower gel naked and regular is leaving as well I did really like that one um, it wasn't too like tar it was a good like fall winter scent for me um, argan dragon shower oil aurora borealis body scrub and Buffy Body Butter, which is one I've always wanted to try because it always looked cool when I was in the store. It's that like square cube body butter with the ribbed edges. I've always wanted to try it, but I might order it, who knows, but that's being discontinued. Easy Peeler Body Scrub, that was the little orange, and Scrub 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 Shower Scrub. Let's try saying that 10 times fast. Um, that was one of Matt's favorites. Um, bubble Bars, I don't really use Lush Bubble Bars, so I don't have any experience with these products, but all the bubble bars that are leaving are Akaname, Bathos, Excavation Bubble Bar, Party Popper Bubble Bar, Return to the Emerald City, Stargazer, Sugar Rush, Candy Bubble Brush Reusable Bubble Bar, Dirty Perfume Bubble Bottle, Erlenmeyer Flask Reusable Bubble Bottle, Goldfinger Bubble Stick, Keep It Fluffy Perfume Bubble Bottle, Love Perfume Bubble Bottle, Relax, Take a Bath, Reusable Bubble Bottle. And then we have the soaps, and this is where it really hurts to, to talk about, because I've used every single soap on here except for one. And to see them all go at the same time is just like losing like eight children. <laughs> not not that bad, but it, it, it's, it's really sad. <laughs> Um, so we have Drop of Hope, Good Day Sunshine, which is still in my shower. That one I'm actually finishing before I use the Sexy Peel. Um, Maypole, that's the one that I haven't tried. Um, Michelle Mabel, the Milky Bar. Out of all of them, I did not expect this to see this on this list. I've used Milky Bar past couple of years. It's great to mix with other things for the bath. Ugh, that one like almost hurts the most. I love Milky Bar. Parsley Porridge, Poppy, that one was great. Rockstar is probably my favorite after the Milky Bar. That one was really great too. S Sexy Peel and Respect Your Elders, which that one's like a popular one too. I was really surprised to see that one as well. Um, for bath bombs, we have Black Ninja, Black Rose, Blue Gardenia Salt Cube, Calavera, Dirty, Aubergine, otherwise known as the eggplant one. Um, Flight, Geo, that one's so pretty, but I never tried it. Gold Rush, Honey, I Washed the Kids, I loved how that one smelled. Kitsune, Pink, Roar, I believe that's the little dinosaur. Um, Rocket Science, Rose Butterfly, Rose Clay Salt Cube, Royalty, Strawberries and Cream, Tengri, the Olive Branch, I think just the Olive Branch um, bath bomb is leaving. I don't think the other Olive Branch products are. Yuzu and Coco and Lucky Cat. Uh, my favorite, Rocket Science was my favorite one on that list. That was like the blue rocket ship with the yellow, um, you know, ignition out of it. Uh, I've been kind of like far behind with bath bombs because I haven't really used any in like a long time. But I love that one and I love the bath art. It was like blue and yellow and pink. Ugh. Um, bath oils, I've never tried Blush's bath oils, so, but if you've had, there's a lot that's leaving. Floating Island, Flowers Barrow, Thursday, Melting Marshmallow Moment, Polyamorous, 
You've Been Mangoed, Double Vitality, Dreamtime, Magnificent, and Revelation. Um, there's only one thing for hand care, and that's the Salted Coconut Hand Scrub, which I didn't know existed. I never heard of that before. For shampoo and conditioner, hair care in general, um, I love Juicy Shampoo, Jersey Bound Shampoo, um, Jungle Conditioner, Trichomania Solid Shampoo, Huge Hot Oil Treatment, Blousy Shampoo, Curly Whirly Shampoo, Sugar daddy o Conditioner, New Hot Oil Treatment, Queen Bee Hair Honey, Hair Doctor Hot Oil Treatment, Sunny Day Anti-Static Hair Detangler, and the Marilyn Hot Oil Treatment. Um, I think the, the only one I've tried is the Jungle Conditioner. I preferred Big, but that one was good too. Um, and for like lotions, bot, um, other body care, the Little Pot of Energy Naked Lotion, Pansy Naked Body Lotion, Tender is the Night Massage Bar, the Governor Deodorant, that was good. I, I liked, I like Lush's deodorant. Um, Shimmy Shimmy Solid Body Tint. I believe that's the one that's like shaped like a little heart. And Karma Cream Body Lotion. There's also quite a bit of face masks. Um, there's Dirty Naked Beard Oil, Dream Steve Steam Mask, the Brazen Honey Face Mask, and the Cupcake Face Mask. I love the Cupcake Face Mask. Um, I still have one in my bathroom. I think it's expired, but I'll make it work. Oh, that's like putting it like a net chocolate cake literally on your face and it makes your face feel better and look better. Uh, I love that one. I was always sad to see that one go because that one's been out for a while, like five years, I think. I could be wrong, but I feel like that's been out for a long time. Um, and then other face products, the tea tree toner tab, lipstick lip balm, Amazon primer naked oil, Gritty Politty Naked Cleansing Balm, and lastly, the Like a Virgin Naked Cold Cream. I believe that's everything. Yeah, like I said, there's some stuff that I'm really surprised about and that I will whip, I will miss. Um, but the good news is, um, I think all of these products, or at least the good majority of them, are on the, L the Lush website. And like I said, there is a tab, the Leaving Soon tab, and it shows all pictures and notes and everything. Um, of all the products that are leaving so I've said all the names but if you don't if you really like a product and you don't remember what it's called go on the website it'll have all the pictures and descriptions and you can buy them online um, and you can still pick them up at store I believe if you don't feel comfortable going back into a store um, Blush is also doing free shipping until September 17th I believe that is Thursday so like it's now would be a good time to capitalize on that because they don't do free shipping all too often so I hope this was a helpful video an informative video for those who are big fans of Lush um, I am probably gonna order some of these not a lot but soon oh did I say free shipping over 40 is free shipping over 40 I just wanted to clarify um, but yeah um, are there any products on here that you're like that's disappointed about? There's definitely a few that I'm like, wow, is that really gone? Going for good? Um, but I'm also excited to see what they have to bring for Halloween and holiday because that's usually like when I shop at Lush the most, especially with the Boxing Day sale at the end of the year. So I'm excited to see what will be the new, as they say, out with the old and with the new. So. Yeah, that's all I have for you today. I hope this video uploads. I'll be so mad if it does. <laughs> um, I will be back soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, what are some products that maybe I share that you're sad about going, that's going? Um, what are some of your favorite Lush products? Um, were there anything that I showed you here that you really enjoy? I would love to know everything and anything. <laughs> so hope you guys have a good night. I'm going to go to bed because it's like 11 o'clock now. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.